though the rapper NLE Chopper, it was with this girl for quite some time, but he was making it clear in his words that he's not looking for anything serious. He's going to be seeing other women. I can let her know, like, I don't see myself having one wife. I said, I'll probably marry you, but you would have to, you know, be cool with the simple fact that I believe in polygamy. You know, the guy's a famous rapper. He's young. I'm pretty sure the girlfriend is like 26. He was 19, something like that. And when she had his child, she was saying he was absent. He was off doing this and that and famous people stuff. She was not happy about that. And she went to the internet. Here's the video. Is she telling the truth? I have given myself to one man for a year and three months. And just one man, not nobody else. And you build so much with that person. You go through so much with that person. And... my healing process i can't tell y'all how hard it is for me to sleep or how hard it is for me to get up and face reality because this was not my reality a week ago can't tell y'all how hard it is because I love so hard and I love harder and harder and harder every time and this one hurts the most because I really thought that I was gonna marry this man <laughs> and I get it he's young why would you think that you know like it wasn't like that. And I'm trying to be strong and it's hard. <laughs> so to my healing journey, um, I've already started therapy and I'm trying to figure out ways to get up out of the, the bed and stuff like that. And um, I've changed my whole life. So it's like, it's just lessons, you know? And people be like, you know, he's young, you were stupid, young, you were stupid, um, all this shit. But he was doing things that grown men never did for me, um, never taught me. I experienced things that he was just so mature. And just because he was young, it doesn't mean that he didn't have the ability to do so. I think any woman dating a 19-year-old multi-multi-millionaire and he left, you'd be pissed too. He's got the lifestyle, the money, the women circulating around him all the time. This was bound to happen. You know, looking at her Instagram, she's almost got a million followers. Almost a million followers. Here we go. Here's the moment of truth. There it is. Haram. <laughs> she got paid a lot of money from NLE. And now she's getting a lot of money from The Simps online. But NLE responded to the whole situation himself. Let's hear it. I can let her know, like, I don't see myself having one wife. I said, I'll probably marry you, but you would have to, you know, be cool with the simple fact that I believe in polygamy. So you may not be the only person that, 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 I, would, that I would marry. You know what I'm saying? And I let her know that. And she was like, mm. she was like, that's different. Um, I feel like that's cool. I feel like that's something I can work on with being open to as well. So hear me out. So this was pretty much the thing and, and no disrespect. Marissa was willing to give up all of these things that she felt that she felt was um that she was gonna get from um just out of life. She she felt she was gonna get married, which which she probably is. She probably might find that person that it's just gonna marry her, but this is pretty much her life. This was pretty much already thought out in her brain. She was gonna get married to so somebody that was faithful for her, uh, faithful just to her, build a whole family, and, um, and just live happily ever after. And, and I was telling her, it sounds a bit like a fairy tale because certain things don't always play in that type of sense, or the cards don't never don't sometimes roll out their way. But it's not impossible. 
But I say, if you're looking from that, from me, my present moment, who I am as today, when I wake up today, you're not going to find that in me. I let her know that several times, several occasions, and um, she was cool with it. And she said, well, she was with me in a sense of hope. I feel like she was with me in a sense of hope and I grew out of it. Um, she was willing to do everything. Did she want to do it? Her, her, her mind and her heart wanted to do it. But her soul, that was not what her soul wanted. Um, and in the, and, and in the sense of that, like, I felt wrong. That's why I left. That's why, that's why I had to distance myself. Cause I was not, I'm not ready for that. That's the part of my life I'm not ready for. It's like, like I said before, he's 19. She's knocking on the door of 30. This was bound to happen, especially a guy who's a multi multi millionaire, super famous. Girls are throwing themselves at him. He's got the lifestyle. This was going to happen. But he said she agreed to his viewpoint on the relationship, but it looks like it didn't really work out. I mean, it's easier said than done on her part. But at least he was honest and he just did the right thing and left. And when his ex girlfriend saw this video he posted, she went back on the internet and had her say, once again let's hear it i hate liars i hate liars and what you're not gonna do is lie you still you still calling me your partner you still saying i was your partner you still saying that um when i was even doing i was doing while we were in quote unquote relationship you saying you're not doing this. should i keep going i have text messages you talk about you feel sorry sorry for what Sorry for what? What you feel sorry for? Let's talk about let's talk about how two days before they're gonna inject the baby in me, you make me go get this too. Or you said that you was gonna um call the doctor and cancel it. Remember that? Getting IVF for a man that said you have this baby, I'm gonna do me is the craziest thing I've heard this year. So a fact about NLE Chapa that people seem to forget is that a couple years ago, he fired a into the house of his baby mom and newborn trying to harm her. And that's why he went on his whole like peace, love, spiritual shit, because he got his social media taken away by his PR team. And now that it's been enough time, I guess he's going back to making his low vibrational music. But back to her, like, where are you that as a woman who has the money for IVF, of all the sperm donors you could pick, you would pick him. And then to get on Instagram live crying like, oh, he's a deadbeat dad. I don't know what could be more clear about the sentence. You have this baby. I'm gonna do me though. To me, good luck, I guess. All I'm gonna say is child support is a good investment for women these days. She is not the only one. If she met a 19 year old guy who wasn't NLE chopper, who's just a normal guy, normal job, blah, 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 blah. She wouldn't even consider having an IVF with that man, if you can call him a man yet. I just don't know why people put all their business on the internet. But let me know what you think of the situation. Let me know in the comments.